Hallelujah, hallelujah. As the song said, for, for I was glad when they said, let us come into the house of Yah. That we may give him praise and honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For there is a way, Israel, Yah, that we as a people must walk. There is a way that Yah has planned out for his people. That we should walk as a people of Yah. And what is this way? The way is the way of Yahshua HaMashiach. That is the way we should walk as a people of Yah. We should walk in the, in the ways of Yah. There should be any isms or schisms, but we should be on a straight path, headed straight for the things of the kingdom of Yah. So what are you saying, Akshemi? What, what do you mean by the way? What does the way mean? That the, the way means the road unto eternal salvation. For what else is there out there in this world that you would even sell your, your nephesh for? What is the way? It's the road. It's a distance. It's a journey that we as a people of Yah, that we must travel. And there's going to be bumps and valleys and hills. And as you'll see as I be proceed in this message that we're going to have to overcome and get around. And some, we're just going to have to stand and just wait upon Yah. Do all that we can do and just stand. Be as that tree planted by the rivers of water. That when the storm comes, it sways, it bends, it may lose a branch, it blows off all the leaves, but that tree is rooted and grounded. That when that storm passes, that tree rises back up. And you see more life begin to grow in that tree because of what it went through. It becomes even stronger because it withstood that storm. Hallelujah. And there is a way that we as the people of Yah that we must travel, conditions. There is a way, and that way is Yah. We must stand upon his Torah and his misbahs as the people of Yah to get through this thing. We must stand. We must stay in that way. We must walk upon that path. Our feet must be shod with the preparation of the gospel of Yahshua HaMashiach. For he, is, he was that example. He is that example that he gave us to follow as the people of Yah through his Torah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to begin here in Genesis. The destruction of Sodom. But Yahweh would not hide it from Abraham. Hallelujah. Because Abraham, he walked upright. He talked with Yah. Hallelujah. So if we be the people of Yah, if we stay in this way, we walk in the path, you think Yah is going to hide something from us? No, he's going to prepare us. He's going to let us know what is coming upon this old land. He's going to protect his people. Hallelujah. He's going to watch out for his people. We're going to be covered up under his wings as the people of Yah. Hallelujah. Long as we stay within this path, we stay in this way of Yah. And that we not be wavering. And that we not fall to the side. And that we endure. Because we must endure. Hallelujah. As the people of Yah, we must endure. What kind of walk would this be if you didn't go through any, anything at all? Huh? You, it, it will be... Just a nonchalant thing to where you were just like, man, forget this. Hallelujah. So as, I've always, as I always say, we should look forward to the trials. We should meet them head on. We should want to suffer for Yah. For he chose us. It's not by anything that we have done. Nothing at all. But Yah chose us. And one day that, that, that will register with us to where it'll bring us upon our knees and... and, and and sorrowfulness and, and just gratefulness that now I see y'all, you chose me. You didn't have to, but you chose me. Me of all people. He chose you all, because of y'all. Hallelujah. And one day it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And maybe there'll be some weeping. Like, y'all, you chose me. Me of all people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to start here in Genesis 
Bereshit 18 and 16. It says, And the men rose up from there and looked toward Sodom. These were the Melikims that Abraham were, was in, entertaining. And the men rose up from there and looked toward Sodom. And Abraham, he went with them on the way. Hallelujah. Genesis 18, 7. And Yahweh said, shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? So Yah's not going to hide it from us. When he went in to, to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he didn't hide it from Abraham. Because why? You'll see as I read on. Because Abraham, he walked up right. Hallelujah. And Yah said, shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. And all nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him. Does Yah know us today, criticism of Yah? Yes. Do we know Yah? Yes. Does he know you? Yes. Hallelujah. He says, For I knew he knew Abraham. He said, For I know him, that he will command his sons and his household after him. And they shall keep, what shall they keep? The way of Yah. Hallelujah. They shall keep the way of Yah to do justice and judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. To do justice and judgment that Yahweh may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken. If we as the people of Yah, as we walk, if we stay in this way, hallelujah, then Yah is going to do as he's done here for Abraham. Hallelujah. He may bring upon that which he has spoken. So this Torah which Yah is speaking, if we stay in this way, if we walk in this walk of Yah, hallelujah, if we stay on the path of Yah, then Yah is going to do what he said he's going to do in this Torah for his people. If we stay within this path, we stay in the way of Yah. Hallelujah. And that, was, that is what we must do as the people of Yah. Let us endure and stay in the way of Yah. Hallelujah. Total Yah. And he says, Abraham, that which he has spoken, he's going to do it. And I'm going on to Luke here. Lucas 3 and 1. Yohanan, the Emmer's ministry, is how he was teaching Israel about the way. It says, now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius, Kazar, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Yahuta and Herodes, being a tetriarch of Galilee, and his brother Philippe, the tetriarch of Euturia, and of the region of Trecocontinus, and Lysanias, the tetriarch of Abilene. Luke 3 and 2, and Ananias and Sapphira being the high Cohen. The word of Yah came to Yohanan, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he came into the country about Yarden, preaching the immersions, immersions of repentance for the remission of sins. Hallelujah. And we as the people of Yah, how can Yah help us if we can't see our wrongs? Yohanan came preaching this, that repent, acknowledge your ways, acknowledge your wrongs, that Yah may pardon your sins, that there, that there may be a forgiveness, that you may stay in the way. Hallelujah. Yohanan came preaching that to these people. And it says, Luke 3 and 4, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness... Prepare you the way of Yah. Make his path straight. Hallelujah. That's how we walk in this, this way of Yah. We must prepare. And how do we prepare? What is, what is to prepare? We must make ourselves ready. Get our minds right. Get our minds off of the foolishness, the things of this world. Hallelujah. To be ready. That's how you are prepared. You're ready. Your mind is ready. Your leg is ready for whatever. Someone instructs you, then whatever. Whatever we need to do. Whatever the job, whatever task that we have to do. 
That's when your mind is ready. Not with a murmur or a complaint or say, why I'm doing this? Why I got to do this? Why they can't do it? Why he can't do that? That's not being prepared. We must prepare our minds. We must work out the details. What details? The details that lies within our lives. The things that we do that are not right before y'all. Hallelujah. The things we think y'all doesn't see. We must be prepared. We must get these things with, get these things out of our lives, out of our minds, out of our ruahs. The things that we do. Because it's going to come to light. Hallelujah. It says to be prepared, to put in a proper state of mind. What is the proper state of mind? The mind of Yeshua HaMashiach. That's the only proper state of mind there is. Not the things of this world, just the, the mind of Yeshua HaMashiach. That is the proper state of mind. Hallelujah. That is how Yah can keep his people, except we as a people of Yah prepare our minds, prepare our thoughts, prepare our ways. We're ready for, for the battle, ready for whatever Satan brings, whatever Yah allows him to bring upon us. That we're ready to go through it, ready to stand, ready to be all that Yah has charged us to be as a people. As I said earlier, he has chosen us. So why should we want to fight and stand for Yah? Hallelujah. We must stand in this way, conditions of Yah. That's the only way we're going to make it. We stand in this way and wait upon Yah and do all that we can do as the people of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, and the word of Yah came to Yachahan, Zacharias in the wilderness, okay. Luke 3 and 5. Every valley, every valley shall be filled. So every little dip you have in your life, every little trial that we endure and encounter, it says here, every, every valley shall be filled. Yah's going to make it right. He's going to fill the valley. He's going to bring you up. Hallelujah. And every mountain, every Big thing you think that you can't handle. Every obstacle you think, man, I just, I can't handle this. It says, every mountain and hill shall be brought low. Y'all shall work it out. Hallelujah. And the crook shall be made straight. Hallelujah. Every crooked thing that's not of Yah, it shall be made straight. If we stand in the way and we wait upon Yah. If we truly, as I said earlier, if we can see our ways and allow Yah to deal with us. But as long as we're in denial and saying that we're not that way, then y'all can't deal with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A remission of sins, a repentance. Hallelujah. Then y'all can deliver us. But you got to hate to think about yourself. Hallelujah. You got to be able to admit it. I talk too much. I'm nosy. Hallelujah. I eat too much. I'm a glutton. Hallelujah. I'm too quick tempered. You got to be able to acknowledge those things. And you got to hate it about yourself. You got to go upon your knees. You got to hate it. Y'all, help me. I hate this. I don't want to be this way. Hallelujah. And that's the only way that you can be delivered. That's the only way. A remission of your sins. That's the only thing that's going to keep you in, in this way. That you be able to acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge the things that you're not doing right. Acknowledge your shortcomings as a people of Yah. That's the only way you're going to get any strength. Other than that, you're just going to be a foolish individual thinking you got something that you do not have. Hallelujah. We must acknowledge this condition of Yah. We must acknowledge our ways. And it says, and the crook shall be made straight and the rough ways shall be made smooth. Only if we acknowledge in this way of Yah. Hallelujah. Luke 3 and 6. And it says, if we acknowledge and all shall be made straight, the crook, everything. The rough ways made smooth. It says, and all flesh shall see the salvation of Yah. What is the salvation of Yah? Yahshua HaMashiach. And all flesh shall see the salvation of Yah. Hallelujah. Total Yah. Hallelujah. And we're going down here to uh, Yeshua. Yeshaya, 41. Yohanan's preaching, preparing the way of Yah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah 40 and 1. It said, comfort you. 
Comfort you, my people. Saith your Yah, comfort. Speak you comfortably to Jerusalem and cry to her, to her, that her welfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. Hallelujah. That her iniquity is pardoned. Do we not need comforting words at times, condition of Yah? This is Yahanan is saying. Hallelujah. It's to speak pardon. That let, let the people know that, that if they, as a people, admit their remissions, their sins, it says, and your iniquity is pardon. For she has received Yahweh's hand doubled for all of her sins. And in Yahshua 40 and 3, it says, the voice of him that cries in the wilderness. The same as it says in Luke. Here it is again in Isaiah. It says, prepare you the way of Yah. Make straight in the desert a highway. Make straight in the desert. What is the desert? This world that we are amongst. Hallelujah. The desert places that within your land. Hallelujah. The desert places that's within your mind. Hallelujah. It says, straight in the desert, a highway for our Yahweh, for our Yah. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crook shall be made straight, and the rough places made plain. Hallelujah. It says, Yeshua 45, and the splendor of Yahweh shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. What is the splendor? Yahshua is the splendor of Yahweh. Hallelujah. And all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of Yah has spoken it. So we must make straight. Make straight the ways of Yah. Let us walk straight. No wavering. No weaving, just straight. One focus, one mind. Hallelujah. No individuality. As the body of Yahshua HaMashiach. It says, Isaiah 46, it says, The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? He said, All flesh is as grass, and all tub thereof is as the flower of the field. It says the grass withers, the flowers fade. Hallelujah. Because of the, the ruah of Yahweh blows upon it. Surely the people is grass. He said the grass withers, the flowers fade. But one thing, it says, but the word of Yah shall stand forever. Hallelujah. The word of Yah shall stand forever. That's when we're faded away. We've gone, but the word of Yah shall stand. Hallelujah. So let us depend upon the word of Yah. Nothing else. Not family members. Just the counsel of Yah. Let us stand. That's the only way we can stay in this way, that we can walk straight. He says, for the word of Yah shall stand forever. It, said, it didn't say anything about this world. Nothing in this world should stand forever. So why sell your soul for? Why not stay in the way? Why not walk on the straight and narrow? It says the word of Yah shall stand. Nothing else. No medicine. No pill. It says the word of Yah. The word. His Torah. His Mitzvah. His commandments. It shall stand forever. Hallelujah. That's all shall stand forever. When everything is going away. Hallelujah. It says the word of Yah shall stand forever. Do we comprehend that condition of Yah? It says the word of Yah shall stand forever. What else is there then? The word of Yah shall stand forever. What else is there? What else is there to sell your sofa? Huh? That's nothing else. A car? Trinkets? What else is there? It says the word of Yah. Man, can we not comprehend that? What else would we want to be rooted and grounded in? This is the word of Yah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me move over here to Acts. 18 and 24. As Apollos, he teaches at Ephesus how to walk in the way in a chia. Acts 18 and 24, it says, And a certain Hyuda named Apollos, born at Alexandria, he said he was an, an eloquent man. Eloquent? What is that saying? He was learned. He was skilled in the Torah of Yah. He was a learned man. He walked in the way of Yah. Hallelujah. And mighty. What is that saying, Shimri? Mighty in the scriptures. He was bold. Are we bold because this is of Yah? Say he was bold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we bold today? He was mighty in the scriptures. And he came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of Yah. Uh, let us, it's good to y'all, let us be instructed in the ways of Yah. And how can we be instructed? By the Torah of Yah. If we allow it to massage our hearts, allow it to saturate our minds, then we will be bold. Hallelujah. That we spend time with Yah. Hallelujah. Pray upon our knees. Hallelujah. He says that this man was instructed in the way of Yah and being fervent. What is fervent? He had a zeal. Do we have a zeal as a people of Yah? Hallelujah. He had a zeal. It says fervent in the Ruach. He spoke and taught diligently. Diligently, the things of Yah, knowing only the immersions of Yohanan. And he began to speak boldly in the Bayat, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him to them and expounded to him the way of Yah more perfectly. Acts 18 and 27, it says, and when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brothers wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him. Who, when he was come, helped them much. Much had he believed through free, unmerited love and favor. Acts 18, 28 says, for he mightily refuted the Yahudims. And that publicly shown by the scriptures that Yahshua was the Messiah. Hallelujah. And that's how we stand in the way. We got to stand for this Torah. Stand for the truth of Yah. You see, he stood. He refuted this world. Hallelujah. We got to refute this world. Not just we having a debate, but we got to refute this world within our layers, within our minds. Hallelujah. That we don't be taken by the things of this world. That we don't pattern ourselves after this world. Hallelujah. They refute it scripturally. But we got to refute within here, within our hearts. It's a battle constantly. If you're truly serving y'all, you know it's a battle. I don't care where you go. Hallelujah. What corner you turn, there's a battle. Yeah, we are here, but still, there's a battle. Hallelujah. We have a place of refuge. Those of you who are listening, but still, there's a battle. There is a battle. Hallelujah. There's a spiritual battle constantly. You think Satan is not going to do his job? He's doing his job. There is a battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The way of Yah is the way of life. Any other way leads to death and destruction. There is no other way. It's just the way of Yah. You can see it today. Those that are listening on the live stream, you see it all around you more than what we do. Hallelujah. 
because we're in somewhat of a secluded community here. So people that live out there, they, they go through a lot more than what we do. But see, that it's, it's equally shared around the board. That still is a battle. Y'all is not going to put nothing on them that are listening or us here that we can bear. There's still a battle. Regardless of what you will or may, there's a battle. Hallelujah. In this walk with Yah. That's why we must stay on the way. We must stay in the way of Yah through his Torah. Hallelujah. Himbirach. You all may not have this, some of you. Three and eight. It says, Behold, are we yet this day in our captivity? Hallelujah. Where you have scattered us. Have y'all not scattered his people? You have a small group here, a small group there. Hallelujah. But Yah is keeping his people. Why is he keeping his people? Because if they walk in his Torah, in his way, then he will keep his people. Hallelujah. It says, you are scattered for a reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities and injustice of our fathers. Hallelujah. Which departed from Yahweh, our almighty. So this is the payment. We as the people of Yahweh, what we are enduring here. Passed down from our forefathers. You look at it in the world today. Yah has not changed. Yah is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. So you see this wicked world today. They're saying, oh, it doesn't take all that. You don't have to do all that. You don't have to live the way you all live. That's the curse of the forefathers. That's what they're taking upon. That's what they're allowing to take over their minds. But the word of Yah says that he's the same yesterday and forevermore. He hasn't changed. It's just the world has changed. The world is getting more wicked. Hallelujah. You look at things today, how they're allowing a man to marry a man. A woman to marry a woman. Just that alone. Ten years ago, that would even heard of. Hallelujah. Then they get rights and benefits. and It's crazy how they're twisting up even the little one's mind. A boy coming home and he has two mothers. A girl coming home, she has two fathers. Even nature itself teaches you that. But this world is so twisted. Hallelujah. And it's such a curse that's, that, that is upon them. And that's why we as a people, y'all must, must guard our minds. If you can't feel it, I can. I can feel it. I, it's, it's encroaching. It's getting even more wicked. Hallelujah. I don't care where you go. I drive a truck. And I pull up beside these girls. And they're holding hands. And I've been driving trucks 15, 16, 17 years. I've never seen it before. Never. Pass a restaurant. You see one girl get out, walks around, open the door for the other girl. They kiss, and the one goes into work. The other gets in the car and pull off. I'm standing there at all. Young girls, 20-some years old. And we as the people of y'all, we must guard our minds. We must. We see this wickedness around us. It's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. We must guard our minds. We must guard our little ones' minds. Hallelujah. We must spend time with them. We must tell them the truth. Teach them the right ways. There's no Santa Claus. No such thing as Halloween, Easter. We must teach them what's in this Torah. We must as the people of Yah. Hallelujah. We must. And we can't feel this, this thing approaching, then something is most sadly wrong. Because it is. And it's getting down to the nitty gritty. We see the few here. We see the few that listen online. Hallelujah. We must get down to the nitty gritty. We must, as a people of Yah. Hallelujah. This thing is real. We can take it for granted all we want, but this thing is real. This thing is real. You think it won't take your little ones, then you a fool. You think it won't take you, then you a fool. Hallelujah. You're stupid. We must get serious with Yah. Hallelujah. We must go back to the old time way. Hallelujah. A praying and crying out. Getting into our secret closet. We must as a people of Yah. This thing is coming down. Hallelujah. This thing is serious. We see it all in our own families, our biologicals. 
They're just as twisted as fruity as can be. Hallelujah. We must as the people of Yah. We must. It says for a reproach, a curse, and to subject the payments according to all the iniquities and injustice of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh, our Almighty. Barak 3 and 9 say, Hear Israel, Yah, the commands of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. And that's what we must do. Give ear to understand this wisdom of Yah. Give ear. Hear. And you don't just hear and let it come in this ear and go out the other. No, you hear and let it move within you. That you start acting upon it. Hallelujah. We've heard this word for a long time here. Hallelujah. And we always should be growing. We always should be able to look at one another and say, man, I remember that Ark used to, he don't do that no more. I remember that a coat. Man, she's a lot sweeter. Hallelujah. We shouldn't be the same old people that we were. We should allow this wisdom to impart within our hearts. Hallelujah. And we become wise and say, man, I've done that before. I'm not going to do that again. That was stupid. I learned for that one. I heard somebody speak on that. Oh, I got that one. That's how we should be. We should be, it should be a, a continuous growth. That people should notice it. Your ox and your coat, should notice it. That's what we're here for. Hallelujah. To help one the other. That's why y'all intend for his people to live this way. Hallelujah. A help one for the other. Iron sharpness iron. Hallelujah. That's the way it should be, conditions of y'all. Barak 3 and 10 say, How happens it, Israel, y'all, that you are enemies, that you are in your enemy's land? That you are waxing old in a strange country. Are we not in our enemy's land? Do we not allow this enemy to get within our minds, to get within our lives? Huh? Come on here, somebody. We do. We're in our enemy's land. Hallelujah. We are. Not just out there in the world, but it's in, within us, within our minds. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we begin to act like them, want to dress like them, carry ourselves like them. Hallelujah. That's when we got to guard our hearts and stay upon this way of y'all. Because Satan knows what he's doing. It can easily creep in. Hallelujah. If we're not on guard. We must be humble as a dove, but what? Wise as a serpent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, are we not waxing old in a strange country that you are defiled with the dead? And we don't want to be defiled with the dead. Hallelujah. We won't want to be, as I read on, to be counted as the dead. Hallelujah. Let me go on and read this. 3 and 11. It says, Barak, 3 and 11, that you are counted with them that go down to the grave. How are we counted with them that go down to the grave? Because when people see us, they should see a difference. Hallelujah. If not, if they don't see a difference, then they're going to say, well, they just like the world. He's just he's acting just like the world, you know. So you're going to be counted just like the world. As Isaac came to me, I always say, we should be what? That light that's set upon a hill. When people see us, they're going to know something different. Head covered, your, your, your dress attire, your mannerism. Hallelujah. Your straightforwardness walk. Hallelujah. They should see that. And they should know when you walk in the place, there's something different about them. There's something different about her. There's something different about him. There's something different about them little ones. Heads should turn. We, want to, we don't want to be counted as the world. Hallelujah. We want to distinct ourselves differently. Most of all, with our Ruah. Hallelujah. There should be a difference. We should want that difference. Hallelujah. I don't want to be counted as the fools out there. I want to look different. I want to go against the grain. Hallelujah. Anybody can go out there and do what they're doing. Hallelujah. Anybody. That's easy to do. Anybody can go out there and do that. Hallelujah. That's nothing to do. But it takes a Ruah Hakadesh of Yah for you to go against this world. Go against your family members. Hallelujah. Go against your children. Hallelujah. Tell them the truth. Huh? Be set apart. It takes a Ruah of Yah to do that. Hallelujah. It takes that to say, no, get away from me. It takes a Ruah of Yah. It takes a realness. It takes being sold out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It takes that. It takes that to stay in this way of Yah. You have men that's in this way. They use the name of Yah. But it's false. Hallelujah. It's false. 
They just use the name. They're just like the, the Christian, the religious world. It takes a Ruav Yah to walk in this way, to stand. Hallelujah. To say, no, you go on your way. And believe me, if you're talking Yah, you're talking this Torah right here, they won't bother you. They won't even call you. They don't want to come and see you. Hallelujah. This world doesn't want truth. It doesn't want to walk in this way. Hallelujah. Because of what? The pride of life. I'm not going to deny my mama. I'm not going to deny my daddy. I'm not going to separate from my daughter. Are you crazy, man? This world doesn't want that kind of truth. They sugarcoat it and say it doesn't mean that. They take the word of Yah and twist it. Hallelujah. They take the word of Yah and twist it to fit them that they can go about doing what they want to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have forsaken Barak 3 and 12. It says, for you have forsaken the fountain of wisdom, the Torah truth. For if you had walked in the way of Yah, you should have dwelled in Shalom. For if we walk in the way of Yah, there shall be Shalom. The things like that, it won't even bother you. Well, she don't call me. Well, I hadn't seen my daddy. I haven't seen my mama. It doesn't bother you. Because you walk in the way of Yah. You walk in this truth. Hallelujah. It doesn't bother you. You're grounded and rooted. This word is flowing richly within your lab. And when Satan comes to try to bring something to pull you down, the word always pops up and cancel it out. And there comes the shalom. Hallelujah. And there's the shalom. Hallelujah, because you're in this word. You're in this way. And you're in this way for real. There's no pretense. There's no pretense. There's no room for error. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Barak 3 and 14, he said, learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding, that you may know also where is length of days and life. Where is the light of the eyes and shalom? He says, learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding, that you may know. Also, where is the length of days? The length of days, the wisdom, the strength, it's all in the Torah of Yah. It's all in walking in Yahshua HaMashiach. That's where it is. Huh? If we abide by what this Torah says, our eating, our exercising, there should be length of days. We abide in this Torah, what this Torah says about the strength and wisdom. We should have shalom. Nothing should bring us down. We'll just smile at it. And say, is that all you guys say to him? Man, come on. Bring me something on. Bring something. Bring something a little deeper than that. Hallelujah. That's where it lies. That's where wisdom, strength, shalom, life, long life, it lies within this Torah. Hallelujah. It, it teaches us all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we as the people of Yah, we don't like judgment. And it's going to take that in this way, in this walk. What is judgment? You look at another ox life, show you where you're falling short. Someone may correct you in the Torah. That's judgment. But we take it the wrong way as the people of Yah. So Yah, Yah has sent great men to teach us to walk in the way. Hallelujah. To walk in the way apart from our sins. He used men. I'm going to go to Yermiah 5 and 1. It says, run you to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. If you can find a man. Hallelujah. If there be any that execute. Execute judgment. Hallelujah. Now, do you see any judgment out here today in these churches? There is no judgment. 
What is the scripture that they always use? Oh, judge ye not. But they don't go on and read, though, do they? No, they don't. They take that one little part and they run with it. And that's why the world is in such a mess as it is today. That's why sin is running rapidly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there may be any that execute judgment, and there is none, that is faithful and seeks the truth, and I will pardon it. Now, do, do we, out here in this world, there, there is none. There is no church. There, there is no judgment. You, you can't say anything to anybody. They'll get upset. And we're the same way as the people of y'all. We're the same way. Hallelujah. We're the same way. There is none that is faithful and seeks the truth. Hallelujah. You don't see it out there and you hardly find it amongst us. So may y'all help us with this of y'all. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 5 and 2. And though they say Yahweh lives, surely they swear falsely. Hallelujah. O Yahweh, are not your eyes upon the truth? You have stricken them, but they have not grieved. You have, you have consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. If that, is, that is us, Kedus of Yah. We don't want any corrections. Yah has bent over backwards. Hallelujah. He has chastised us. He has corrected us. Hallelujah. And we still, we still stay in the same slump. We still void the way of Yah. Hallelujah. But they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Have we not refused to return unto Yah? As I said earlier, getting back to the old time ways. We're here, this spoken, this read, and we still go right back to the old ways. Hallelujah. We need to get in the way of Yah. We need to get away from those old ways. We have fallen off as a people of Yah. Hallelujah. We have fallen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 5 and 4. It says, therefore I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of Yah. For they know not the way of Yah. Because of what? Because we are poor, we are foolish in our Ruah. There's no time spent with Yah in prayer. Hallelujah. It says, but they have refused to receive correction. That's the only way we're going to stay in this way of Yah. Just receive correction. That's the only way. Receive correction, learn from it, and don't do it again. Hallelujah. It says, but they refuse to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore, I say, surely these are poor. They are fool foolish, for they know not the way of Yah, nor the judgment of Yahweh. Hallelujah. And I will get me to the great men, and I will speak to them, for they have known the way of Yah. And the judgment of Yah, but these have all together broken the yoke and burst the bonds. See, Yah has had men, hallelujah, great men that he used, hallelujah. You look at this world today, powerful men, but they have gone astray. They have broken the bonds, hallelujah. And are we doing that today, goodness of Yah? Are we breaking the bonds of Yah? Hallelujah. Have we gone astray? Are we breaking this yoke from Yah? That Yah, Yah has a, around our neck by our selfish ways, our ways that are not pleasing before Yah? Hallelujah. We need great men, conditions of Yah. We need men to, to spend time in the Torah, to speak the things of Yah to us. I know I need it. And we need this. This is the only way I've made it this far. Hallelujah. By hearing the word of Yah. I've been to other churches, other assemblies, younger days, and, but they weren't saying nothing. There was no truth. More dancing than anything. Until I heard this type of truth, then I said, that's it. Because I couldn't shake it. I couldn't shake it. 
And that's what we need as a people, y'all. We need the, the truth. That's the only thing that's going to keep us in this way. Not no watered down stuff. Something that doesn't cut our hearts. Something that doesn't put a, a thought on our mind that we search our hearts whether we're doing right or not. We need the, the truth. Not shaken down. Not watered down. Just line upon line. Precept upon precept. Because you can't get around that. You can't go under it. And you can't go over it. You can't shake it. And I couldn't shake it years ago. When I first heard it, I said, man, what he's saying is right. And I was a young man. I couldn't shake it. And it stayed with me. It stayed with me. I couldn't shake it for one thing. And today, they're just pouring out this mess to people. They're pouring it out. And people are sucking it up. And their lives are in a turmoil. They're miserable. You look at the word that you see them, living from check to check, they're miserable. Hallelujah. That's why we need great men today, to speak the truth. To speak it, line upon line, precept upon precept. It says, we need great men today. It says, uh, nevertheless, Yahweh raised up judges, <clears throat> which delivered them. Who are the them? The them. It's us, Israel. Yahweh raises up judges. Hallelujah. To judge his people. He raises them up. It says, nevertheless, Yahweh raised up judges, which delivered them out of the hands of those that spoiled them. Who are those that spoiled them? Hallelujah. Those that compromise with their sins and tell them it's all right, it's okay, don't worry about that. Yah understands. No, only thing Yah understands is what it says here in this Torah, what he wrote. Those are people you don't want to be around. Those are the people you don't want to be around. No, that ain't right. That's what you should want to hear. Even if it's to your hurt. At least you know, man, they care for me. They told me the truth. It says, Judges 2 and 17, and it says, Yet they would not hearken to their judges, but they went a-whoring after demons and bowed themselves to them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of Yah not. And Yahweh raised them up judges. Then Yahweh was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days. For it repented Yah because of their groaning by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. Judges 2 and 19. And it came to pass when the judge was dead, they returned and corrupt themselves more than their fathers. Now, is the judge not dead today? There is no judgment, as I said earlier, out here. And so this, you look at the world today, they are more corrupt than, than they was before. There's no judgment. No judgment at all. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupt themselves more than their fathers. And following demons and gods and served them and bowed down to them, they ceased not from their own doers, doings, nor from their stubborn ways, because there is no judgment in the land. There is no judgment. That's why they can't walk in the way of Yah. And that's the only thing that's going to keep us in the way of Yah is we walk in judgment, that we be judged. Hallelujah. That's the only thing that's going to keep us. Correction, judgment. And not just a judgment, just a judgment of one's life. Hallelujah. That's why Yah has us here together. The judgment of one's life. I see his life and say, man, I need to pull up. Hallelujah. This is a cold season. That's a cold life. Man, she's sweet. She's nice. I need to pull up. I'm mean. I'm grumpy. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's judgment. Yeah. That's a judgment. Hallelujah. Yeah. And they cease not from their judgment, nor from their stubborn ways. Judges 2 and 20. And the anger of Yah was hot against Israel. Yah. And he said, because that this people has transgressed my covenant, which I command their fathers and have hearkened to my voice. Also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of nations which Yehoshua left when he died. Judges 2 and 22, that through them, hallelujah, I may prove Israel, 
Through them who? The enemies of Yah. Yah's going to use it, the enemies of Yah to prove us, to prove what's in us as a people of Yah. Hallelujah. He says he's going to use the enemies to try us. Hallelujah. Do, are we not tried? We're tried here. People bother us for, for no reason. For no reason at all. We haven't done anything to anyone. We pay our bills. Hallelujah. We deal fair with every man. Always have. And still, the rumors, they talk. And we don't even bother those people. Hallelujah. But Yah says he's going to use the people. His enemies. To prove what's in us. Whether we're going to stay in this way. Whether we're going to walk straight. Hallelujah. He's going to use the people. The enemies. That I may prove Israel, Yah, whether they will keep the way of Yah. To walk therein as their, as their fathers did, keep it or not. <clears throat> there are ways, Israel, Yah, that we as the people, Yah, we shouldn't walk in. Hallelujah. There are ways. And we know those ways. What are those ways? Anything that's not according to this Torah of Yah. Any, anything that's not according to this commandment, these precepts that Yah has given us in his Torah. Hallelujah. There are ways that we shouldn't walk. What a beautiful but simple truth, Yisrael. There's only one way that we should walk, as Akshimri expressed us tonight, and that is according to the Torah, according to the words of Yahweh. You look out in the world in many ways. They said there's more than one way to the one which they call God. And there is. But there's only one way unto Yahweh. We know that broad is a way that leadeth to death and separation. You can do all you want to to be separated from Almighty Yah. But you can't do all you want to to stay in his paths. Hallelujah. You have to do what he wants you to do. Hallelujah. And that is to walk in his Torah and his Mishnah, to please him in all that we do, Israel. Let us not be weary in well-doing. We're getting closer to the kingdom. Let us not give up now. We know the road is narrow, it's straight. It seems that there is no end, but there is an end. But where is that end, Zarkane? It's at the pearly white gates, hallelujah, of the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh. So let's stay in this way. The scenery may not be the best or the prettiest. The world, they want to present things to us that look good and that are appeasing, that catches our eye, that catches our attention. Hallelujah. But Yahweh says that if you will store up your treasures, he said, I have things for you that the world cannot give. So let us store up our treasures in, in the Shemayims, in the heavens, and let us stay on this straight and narrow path that leads on to the kingdom. Hallelujah. As Akshemri said, don't, don't, get, don't, get, don't get tired, don't, don't give up. The race not given to the swift nor to the strong, but we must be a people that endure. 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 We must endure hardness as tough soldiers, as warriors, unto what? Key word? The end. Hallelujah. The end of all things. The Yahweh, he knows our ends. And it's a beautiful end, Yisrael. Yah. Hallelujah. Every, the end of every one of us is, a, is the beginning of a new beginning. Hallelujah. In the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh. Let's stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us turn to Yerushalayim. Hallelujah. Abba Yahweh, we do barak you for this scripture night, truth, that was given to us, Yahweh, for, by our precious ox shimmy for us to stay in your way, Abba Yahweh. So let us continue, Yahweh. Let us walk. Give us the strength, Yahweh, that is needed day by day to endure and to overcome all things. And as your conditions, Yahweh, that have come near or far, Take them back to the appointed place at the appointed time. We do ask in the name of Yahshua that you will bring Yisrael and his Isha home safely. We do Baraki for all things in the precious and mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach. We do pray. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yah Baraki Yisrael. Hallelujah.